Edge Squad. Welcome back to episode of Edge Edge Warped. So today's episode, we got this cool under here, and pretty much what this is is a floor lamp that also works as a shelf option. So what they call it right here is a floor lamp with shelves. And you can see for the one that we got right here is from this brand. And this is what the package looks like when you guys do get it. When you guys do look at the bottom right here, they also probably got some specs and features about the product. They mentioned how there's different section or different tier for storage. It does have a pull chain to turn on and turn off the switch for the light bulb. And it does have a very nice fabric on top to soften up the light when you guys do use it. So that was not too bright and not all up in your face when you guys do use it, which is pretty cool. But right here is what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like and, and what is actually included and how to set it up. So once you guys open it up, this is what the inside looks like. If you guys do slide it out, there's another box inside. If you guys open this up, we do have the different parts inside for you guys to use. So here's the first thing, which is probably the lampshade, but let's open up. If you guys do take it out, inside they do probably guys the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. They do probably guys the foundation for the lamp. Right here, we do have the lampshade, and I'll show you guys how to set this up in a second. When we do finish setting everything up first, underneath all of that, we do have some more stuff. So let's take it all out. So we do have the pull chain option right here for you guys to activate the light switch. And it is a two prong option for you to plug it in to actually activate it. Next up right here, they do probably guys the different screws for you to use to assemble it together. I believe they also probably guys the tool inside for you guys to use to screw it together. Right here, we do have a little box if you guys to open it. Inside, they do probably the light bulb for the use, but you can feel free to use your own one if you guys want to. Right here, we do have the four different boards for the use. One of them is much thicker than other ones, and that is probably because this is for the base to give you guys the support for the bottom. You can see how much thicker it is compared to these. And they even label on here so that I know just in case. So there's pretty much two Bs, you can see right here. And this is for the middle section for one and two. And then right here, we do have C, which is the top part for you to use for the light bulb pull switch right here. You can see how it does have the middle part that's open. And the very last thing is the different parts. So these are like metal rods that are actually very high quality. I think this is actually much more high quality than the other ones I've used in the past where it's like a wooden design. I think this might be like steel or metal or something, which is pretty cool. And even for these parts right here, it feels so much more durable than the other ones I have as well. But that is pretty much everything that's included in the package. What I'm doing right now is to take a look at the instruction manual to see how to set it up and then we'll start assembling it. All right, so I got the chance to look at the instruction manual and I'm ready to start assembling it. So what I want to do is open this up to take it out. And pretty much what we want to do is to screw on different parts on here, here, and here. And you guys want to use uh, this screw right here. So I just want to screw it on the bottom for each one of them, one for each corner. And they do have the tool inside right here for the use. You can see right here. So let's start assembling it and show you guys what it looks like. You guys want to make sure the piece of paper is on the bottom and now you can start using it. So you guys want to do one of them at a time. Once you guys got the bottom part all set, then the each level after that would be much easier because you don't have to actually hold it anymore. All right, let's do the same thing for all of them. Just to save you guys some time, I'm just skip this part right here and show you guys what it looks like once it's done. So that way you don't have to see the same thing repeat four times. Once you guys finish that step, you guys wanna bring it up and you guys wanna get the next part to screw it on. So for this part, you guys wanna use one of these with like a dual side for you guys to screw it on for each one of them. And like I mentioned, how they do probably guys some high quality different parts on here and also screws as well, which is way more high quality and easier for you guys to assemble it and disassemble it when you guys do need to. So I don't do the same thing for all four of them. Once you guys are done, this actually looks like once you guys do put it on. So the next step is for you guys to put this part on top, so which is B. Make sure it fits on all four corners. And once you guys do that, you're gonna put the next bars on top. So you guys gonna screw it on. And do the same thing for all the other ones. Literally so easy that you guys can probably even do two of them at a time. One more here. And you guys wanna repeat the same step to put the screws on here. And you guys wanna put the same screw with the dual side. Once you guys do that, put the next one on top. Which should be B. Make sure it fits on all four of them, just like that. And you guys want to stand the next bar on top. And then see how it's getting a little bit too long. So what I want to do is put this down the ground. So that way you can see what she looks like. So let's do it for all four of them. Literally so easy for you to set it up, you can see. I just love how high quality it feels because I actually own a few of these that are like the wooden material, where for these like stainless steel or metal, if it's in here. So once you guys are done with that, I think you guys are supposed to repeat the same step on here, but let me double check. So it looks like this step, you guys don't repeat the same step using the dual side. Instead, what you guys want to do is put this on top. And you guys want to use the same screw that we used in the bottom to screw it on. 
which is pretty much these right here. So I'm gonna screw on each one of the corners. And you guys wanna make sure you guys put all of them in first before it's tightened up, just to make sure all of them are on. All right, so let's tighten up. All right, once you guys are done with that, now I can work the next step. All right, so for the next step, what you guys wanna do is to put the cables through the hole right here. So let's untangle this uh, part right here first. That way you can put the cables through it. Once you guys put it through it, you guys wanna work the next step, which is to get the foundation for this part right here to hold it in place. But before we do put the foundation on here for the top part, which is the lamp, you do want to screw on the light bulb first, so just like this. And I will show you guys a close-up view of what it actually looks like in a second. So once you guys are done with that step, you guys can work on the lamp part. So the way how you guys set up lamp is actually very easy. You guys wanna make sure this part right here with the label is on top like this. And just put it on top like this and stick it on. Let me do one of them first to show you guys what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna put it inside like this and stick it inside. And do the same thing for all four of them. All right, so just like that. Very easy and very simple. Once you guys finish that step, what you guys wanna do is to put this over it and kind of clip it in. All right, so I got it in. So what I'm doing right now is to use the nut in the bottom to make it tighter. All right, so that should be good. So what I'm doing right now is to bring the camera a little closer to show you guys what it looks like from the inside and also the bottom as well. So that way you can see what it actually looks like when you guys do assemble it because it's really hard for me to show you guys like this. All right, so this is what the part looks like for the inside. And see, this is what it actually looks like when you guys do set it up. Let me show you guys the bottom as well. So once you guys set it on the bottom, here's what it looks like. So pretty much wanna make sure it goes through the hole right here and not this one. This hole is for the opening for your uh, string or the rope to pull. And this is what the part looks like once you guys finish setting up. As for the other accessory that's inside, you guys can use that to actually organize the cable on here. So for example, like this one, this is one accessory that's in use. So all you're gonna do is kind of hook it onto the bar right here and just hook your cable on here to organize it. So just like that. So feel free to use a accessory to organize the cable if you guys need to. But one right now is to move the table and plug it in to show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys use it. All right. So once you guys got it all set up and plugged in cable, this is what the full part looks like. So you do have one, two, and three. Three shelf where you have to put stuff on here if you guys want to. And if you guys want to use the top one, feel free to do so. Just take off the lamp and then use that part there. But if you guys do pull the switch right here, here is what the light looks like. So like I mentioned for the product, there's three different options available for the color temperature. This is one. If you guys pull again, this is two and three. And back to the first one. And just to give you guys a better point of view of what it actually looks like in a dark setting, let me turn off all the light. So once you guys turn off all the light, this is what the product looks like. So this is one, two, and three, and back to one. So I'm gonna see it's actually really cool how I should give you guys the different color temperature to change on here if you guys do want to, from the warm light option to like the bright white option, which are really cool. So that way the product works as a two in one, where it give you guys the option to use a floor lamp and also give you guys the option to use a shelf. So that way you can put stuff on here and keep it organized as well, and just keep it in the corner. Like if I just leave it right here and see how well it does look. And the whole installation process didn't take that long. It's actually very easy and very simple. I think that took me around like maybe 10 to 20 minutes. It just took me a little bit of a while on the top part to kind of figure out how to actually assemble it. But everything else is very easy. You just have to twist and screw everything together to put on each different part. So much easier than the other ones I've used in the past. One thing to keep in mind about this one is the fact that it does not give you guys the USB charging option for this part compared to a few other ones I've used in the past where it actually does give you guys the USB port here. This one does not. So you do have to add your own like power strip on here if you guys want to use it. But once you guys do fully set it up, here is what the product looks like. So now to come boxing and testing product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. If you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality floor lamp, that also give you guys a shelf option as well, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.